So we showed you he tweeted out a video of himself with Cory Booker. They, they looked like besties. Mike Figueredo figured it out. He took the affordable out. Health care should be a right, not a privilege. Mm-hmm. Don't have to add that extra word, Andrew. So then after people, it, it, Andrew Gillum felt the heat from this tweet because I retweeted it also. What's the problem with that tweet? The problem with that tweet is if you have Medicare for all, you don't need these other three. This guy, Andrew Gillum, looks like a, a Barack Obama. The fact that he puts all those things is unsettling. The worst scenario is he's a charlatan who's getting ready to change. And when people call that out... They're doing what citizens are supposed yeah. to do. So people are, are, are underneath, even underneath my tweet going, oh, you purists and all this stuff. Like, this is what we're supposed to do with. So this isn't us being, uh, you know, torpedoing or kneecapping progressives. We're saying this guy doesn't sound so progressive anymore. This guy, uh, we, we've seen this act before. And that's why it's troubling to us. By the way, he endorsed Hillary Clinton in the 2016 primary, just so you know. Not Bernie. Did you know that? Yes, I did know that about Yeah. Him. Andrew Gillum, although he didn't take corporate money, looks like he wants to. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he wants to get one of those uh, book deals, and he wants to get some speaking fees. And uh, You tell me. I don't know. So maybe I'm going overboard. So I'll stop it there. I won't say anything else. Now has to bend a knee to Debbie Wasserman Schultz, who, let's remember, is the problem. She's the one who cheated at Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders endorses Andrew Gillum, and now Andrew Gillum has to do public appearances with Debbie Wasserman Schultz. That just, to me, what it looks like to me is that the Democratic establishment is just like turning the screws to him. And and so that's why he because this doesn't help him. Mm -hmm. Debbie Wasserman Schultz is not liked in Florida uh, at all, at all. Right. It's a combination of a few things. I think it's the parties putting the screws to him. I think him not realizing when it's happening, him believing that identity politics can win him an election in Florida, which is not the case. Uh, and I just I don't think that he has a conviction that people thought he did. I think he is a nice guy. I think that he may have had good intentions but at the end of the day to for me personally to have to vote for him it would have to essentially be admitting that he's the one candidate in the history of politics who has taken corporate money and not been influenced by that money for me to believe that he is going to do well for the environment it would mean me believing that him aligning with debbie washington schultz who is known as the sugar queen in florida is not going to affect the outcome of you know what I'm saying like it, so it he would, takes he takes money from those people I, I thought he did yeah he took like seven hundred thousand in dark money from a super PAC that was created when he started running and they're on their website and I wish I can remember what the name of super PAC was but when I, I have some pretty sad news the Hill says that Hillary Clinton plans to campaign with Gillum in Florida here's the last thing you should do if you're Andrew Gillum campaign with Hillary Clinton I don't know if you know this buddy Hillary Clinton lost Florida. She lost Florida to Donald Trump. So you want to campaign with the losing candidate in Florida. And you want to campaign against a person who's modeling himself after the person that beat the person you're going to campaign with. That's a terrible idea. It's an absolute, I mean, it's, it's abysmal. It's one of the dumbest ideas I've ever heard in my life. Now, on top of it being a bad idea politically, so just from a, a, the optics perspective and the marketing perspective, on top of that, now uh, what you're doing is you're letting down your progressive base who were going to make up the bulk of your supporters. In fact, I've, I've gotten tweets from people already that say, I'm not, I'm not going to vote for him now. Oh, Andrew, what have you done? And that comes back to the state of Florida, Andrew Gillum. Gillum campaigned uh, with Hillary Clinton. Bernie Sanders also came down to the state to rally for him, campaign for him. Kamala Harris, uh, Joe Biden at one point was here. Basically all the people who you think might run for president in 2020, uh, they all came down here to Florida to campaign for Andrew Gillum. 
you had people out there, out not in Florida, you know, those outsiders who came and fucked up our election for us. People out there spreading nonsense that, oh, Andrew Gillum's backed off. He's not a progressive anymore. He doesn't support Medicare for all anymore. He changed his talking point in one friggin' tweet. So now we don't support him. I'm not, I'm not voting for him anymore. Thanks for pointing this out. People like Jimmy Dore and Kyle Kalinske and all you people who have your litmus test and you're screwed with a state that you don't live in and you don't understand. Let me, let me make this like so friggin' clear for you idiots. I've lived here my whole life. And I have lived in one of the reddest parts of the state of Florida for my entire life. And both Bill Nelson and Andrew Gillum were winning their elections until this little area where I live, unfortunately, till they started counting those votes. And this solidly red area is what put them over the top. It wasn't because he wasn't progressive enough. It was because this area is solidly Republican, hugely racist. According to the Southern Poverty Law Center, we have a huge concentration of hate groups in this area. So you look at that and you tell me that a black Democrat could have won over those people by being quote, more progressive, which he already was. You just misconstrued what he said because it didn't fit in what your ideal of a candidate has to be. So thank you. Thank you to those people who did that and left us with at least four years of Ron DeSantis as our governor, a guy who is Donald Trump light. I hope you enjoy that in your non Florida state where you won't have to live with any of those consequences, but all of us will.